This video is about how to install Eclipse with Ubuntu Make in into Ubuntu 16.04 desktop. The version of Eclipse I'm going to install will be Neon. So what is Ubuntu Make? Ubuntu has created a tool for developers called Ubuntu Make. It allows you to download popular developer tools along with the required dependencies using a simple umake command. IDEs integrate development environments included with Ubuntu Make include Eclipse, PyCharm, Arduino, Android Studio, and Stencil Game Developer, as well as others. Additional languages support included Go and Dart. Ubuntu has a web page where it lists everything that Ubuntu Make can build. Outcomes would be to create a PPA, or Personal Package Archive, for Ubuntu Make, and then install Ubuntu Make. Then use Ubuntu Make to install Eclipse IDE, or Integrated Development Environment, and finally to create a Hello World program in Eclipse Neon. Requirements, Ubuntu Desktop Operating System with Administrative Privileges, an Internet Connection, and then of course the recommended requirements for Ubuntu 16.04, 2 gigabytes of RAM, 2 gigabytes dual core processor, etc. Additional info, the Ubuntu Make web page, and then the uh, recommended Ubuntu system requirements web page. Disclaimer, while I have researched this material, I can't fully verify that it will work with all combinations of hardware and software out there, so I've included a disclaimer. If you wish, you can stop the video and read the disclaimer. Here I am at the Ubuntu Make page, wiki.ubuntu.com, Ubuntu Make, and I'm going to install Ubuntu Make so that I can install the latest version of Eclipse easily. So I'm going to scroll down here and to install Ubuntu Make it says if you're in the latest Ubuntu version at this time 1604 you can install it directly from the Universe Archive and here it says sudo apt install Ubuntu Make. This right here is incorrect as of the, today, 1-9-2017. What you have to do in Ubuntu 16.04 is you have to install a repository. Otherwise, you will not get all the options for Ubuntu Make. So in order to do that, I'm simply going to copy this. Copy. And now I'm going to do Control, Alt, and T to bring up a terminal. And then I'm going to do a paste hit enter, put in the password, and then so now the repository is installed, then I'm going to do sudo apt get update it's updated, so now I'm going to install Ubuntu Make sudo apt get install ubuntu make whoops I have to spell that correctly the app get ask me if I want to continue I say yes and after a few minutes it's installed now I'm going to install Eclipse with all its dependencies I'm not going to use sudo here. I'm going to just simply go you make IDE Eclipse. It asks where you want to install it, and I always take the default. Hit enter. And this is going to take a, uh, oh, I don't know, depending on your download speed, 10 minutes, 5 minutes, 15 minutes. And I'll come back when it's installed. So now after several minutes, Eclipse is installed, and all its dependencies, including Java, if needed. I go up here to the search, and I type in Eclipse. And here it is. Click on it, run it. Now Eclipse comes up. It says, my workspace, I'm going to simply Accept the default, click OK here, 
go to the, close the terminal. I'm also going to close my uh, web page and simply go to Eclipse. You're ready to go. Basically, I'm going to click right here where it says Create Hello World Application. Expand it all the way. And so Eclipse is installed, and that's all there is to it when you're using Ubuntu Make. If you're familiar with Java and Eclipse, this is pretty much it for the video. But for people that may need a little bit additional information, I'm going to create a Hello World application using this cheat sheet. Here I am in Eclipse Neon, and I'm going to create a Hello World program. And if you want to know where these cheat sheets are, you go to Help, Cheat Sheets right here. And this is where they're at, located, if you need to find some additional cheat sheets. I'm just simply going to cancel this. And to create a Hello World program, I'm going to open up the Java Perspective. And I'm going to go to Window, Perspective, Open Perspective. It'll either be Java or Java Browsing. So I'm going to click that. Next, I'm going to create a Java project. And there are the directions for that. Java project and I'm going to call this hello world essentially this is a folder name whatever technique that you use or however you form your folders and click finish here I mean whether you're using lowercase or uppercase it's up to you click finish next I'm going to create a class Java class and I'm going to call this hello world and I'm going to make it public static void main click finish then I'm going to add a print statement system out print line hello world and I'm basically just going to copy this copy go right here indent paste. Whoops. Let's make sure it's in fully indented. Once that's indented, let me scroll down here and show the directions on how to run it. And it says run your Java applications. Run as Java application. And it asks you to save and launch. Always save resources before launching. Click OK. And here in the console it's Hello World. And if you want to change it Ubuntu World and the second time you run it, let's see work there and it's Hello Ubuntu World. And that's how you install Eclipse Neon and I've included a Hello World application just for the people trying to learn Eclipse or Java. Thank you.